Hey there YouTubers. Alright, so I'm going to show you how to update the BIOS on this here motherboard. The, the ROG Striggs B460-I Gaming, or however you say that. It's by Asus. Um, I haven't watched anybody else's channel, so I don't know how they're saying it. If you want to correct me, go for it. It won't bother me. Alright, so I basically, this is what you're going to search for, right? So we're going to go to Google. And uh, type that in, right? Google search. Now, make sure you don't grab the 360. You will uh, regret it. Here we go. Here's the 460i. And uh, definitely double check this is what you got. Now, give it a moment, and eventually um, what we need will pop up. I don't know why there's a delay here. And boom, there it is. Okay. So we want to go to support and over here driver and utility and we're looking for BIOS. Okay so now this is a uh, pretty new pretty new motherboard right and uh, before we update this we just want to make sure that we have um, we have an older one so we're going to type in sysinfo and you're going to get the system information app. And I'm probably the only person on YouTube that's running a Intel Celeron G5900 in this bad boy. Uh, there it is. All right. So here you go. Here is your uh, American Megatrends Inc. 313-2020. Okay. And uh, this is where this gets a little confusing. Um, but this is a newer BIOS that's available. So we're going to go ahead and download it. So we're going to come back over here. We're going to click the download button. And if you have your thumb drive available, you're going to go ahead and put it in your thumb drive. Okay. For right now, I'm just going to save it to the desktop, but imagine if I had a thumb drive here, I would put it in. Um, so I'm going to save it. Now, a bunch of important things to do here, and I, I get a lot of people, that's not the actual file, I get a lot of people that, uh, you know, do have problems. So I don't know whether it's one out of a thousand, one out of uh, 500. Um, some people either are not sure if they filed the directions or there's another issue, right? So a couple things. Definitely make sure that the BIOS is newer than the one you have, okay? Make sure that the BIOS that you're downloading is for the exact motherboard that you have. Make sure that you've got at least a couple of different thumb drives, preferably good brand name ones. So that's important. Um, I can't tell you what they need to be formatted to, but uh, it is possible that the formatting on them could they could affect this. Um, I've never had a problem updating a BIOS, but uh, you know people do. Now I will say uh, when I try to take a uh, screen capture inside of the BIOS. If uh, it doesn't like the thumb drive, it will not save to it. So uh, it does happen from that aspect. Um, now, the next big thing is, did you unzip this? Okay, so I r just right-clicked on it, selecting Extract All, and voila. This is the actual file that is got your new BIOS on it, and we'll do the update. So we can delete the old okay and then now's our folder so this is what needs to go on your thumb drive and uh, now we will uh, we'll get that going and uh, in a moment I'm gonna have to switch over to a uh, camera and uh, do this externally I had a capture card and unfortunately it uh, has stopped working um, this is the second capture card I bought that I've had issues with so that's the way that goes but uh, we'll pick it up in a moment all right youtubers so uh, gonna do the BIOS update I've got my thumb drive ready 
and uh, just so you see here is the, uh, the box for the motherboard that we're using and uh, somewhere on here it says 460 there it is B460 so uh, of course you know being new technology and possibly the mere fact that uh, with the coronavirus computer parts have skyrocketed now suggestion um, sometimes this will not actually work putting a thumb drive in to your case USB a lot of times it's better to plug it in directly to your IO shield uh, that area back there on the back of the motherboard uh, in one of those USBs I'm putting in this one um, for convenience sake but uh, you know otherwise we would we would uh, put it directly into the motherboard if it doesn't work that's where it's going to go next so here you see uh, the, the mini ITX I haven't bolted down the uh, M.2 I've got another M.2 on the other side of this um, in case you didn't know it you're going to have two M.2s one uh, the one on the back has to be storage from what I saw and the one on the top is your operating system I've got it paired with a XFX RX 590 and uh, sadly that's a Celeron in there um, really good uh, benchmark scores but in reality it's not a very good uh, gaming computer so eventually we're gonna put the i5 in there all right folks so um, our thumb drive you see I've got a ton of stuff on here right this is going to present a problem possibly um, if you forget what your motherboard is so uh, I'm gonna cut this and paste it in here if we can see that hitting the paste button and it should show up somewhere here in the top five or at the very bottom one or the other uh, if we hit that button it'll end up right there so this thing's ready to go folks now we're gonna do a uh, we're gonna restart our computer and I'm gonna jam on the delete key um, this is ASUS sometimes it's a F2 F10 whatever I'm gonna go with delete hopefully it's the right key I'm usually I buy uh, gigabyte motherboards and MSI so um, if this doesn't work we'll try a different key so there you go actually it says press delete or F2 and I am jamming on that delete button and boom there is our BIOS now uh, we can go in here two ways this is the advanced mode down at the bottom you see easy mode so let's click on easy mode so you can see that a lot of times they have a quick way to get into um, to get in there but uh, in this case this guy doesn't have that so looks like it is advanced mode or nothing folks so we'll click back on advanced mode and come back in here all right so inside of our BIOS you see across the top here we want a tool before I click on here um, see if there's anything else I want to point out to you yeah let's just go ahead and do it click on tool and you see some different things here we want the flash 3 utility and there it is okay and you see right here there is the uh, the existing BIOS that we have and we want to put our new BIOS on here alright so picture this like my computer over here here's all your disk drives and uh, of course if you named them you're not seeing that right you're seeing F S0 through in my case I've got uh, looks like five drives in here so you're gonna have to go through these one at a time and come over here that is not the folder I'm looking for that is not the folder I'm looking for and FS3 that is not the folder I'm looking for what about FS4 We're running out of drives here boom there it is okay there is our uh, folder and we're gonna go ahead and click on it 
and there is our file okay see that June 12th and so we're gonna go ahead and click on it do you want to read this file hell yeah let's get it on do you really want to update by us alright so let's talk about reasons why we're updating this well this is new technology okay and a lot of stuff with new technology you'll find you have issues whether it be uh, you know most likely it's gonna be hardware related um, sometimes these computers just don't run that great with a new CPU and they uh, they need updates right so that's what's going on here we've got a brand new CPU we've got a brand new motherboard and it is worth uh, updating the BIOS now if your computer is uh, running great and you buy this let's say a year from let's say you buy this a year from now after uh, there's been a few BIOS updates in this motherboard chips with uh, you know quite a few BIOS updates then you might not want to do this alright so before I hit this yes button uh, disclaimer um, I usually tell people you know I don't recommend you doing this just because uh, things could go wrong you could uh, brick your motherboard do a weather check make sure that you are not in the middle of a hurricane in the middle of a tornado uh, any kind of severe thunderstorm snowstorm blizzard uh, anything that could cause the power to go out now if everything looks good and you believe that you need this BIOS update and you've listened to every little detail I've told you in this video I say go ahead and proceed we're gonna click yes and of course at this point don't friggin' touch the mouse, don't touch the keyboard, stay away from everything, okay? Matter of fact, back the hell away from the computer. So we're going to do that. We're going to get uh, back here, and you see it's processing. Uh, eventually it will get across there. You know, it's sad I do these videos on the worst monitor of the, of the three I have here, but um, what are you going to do? You know, so it's still going. And I might have been wrong. That that orange bar might actually be the processing bar. So let me go ahead and pause this. And uh, we'll pick it up as it gets across there. So it's still going. Um, you know, this would be great uh, if I had my capture card working. So I'm going to apologize once again that uh, we do not have a working capture card. Uh, so you get the best picture quality. But hopefully, you know, one good thing is I can zoom in. Uh, right on where the action's at and right now that action is almost at the end So in a moment it will probably shoot from there all the way um, To the end At least a lot of times when I do this I'm like up. Oh, I missed it. It went so fast in this case. It's just Crawling to the finish line. There you go. Now. It's moving right so if you weren't paying attention you would miss that and let's see here update successfully system will be reset boom so I'm talking about another successful bias update hopefully so the other thing is um, I'm doing this after I just purchased it and uh, if something does go wrong you know this thing is going back um, but uh, I don't think anything will go bad so we will uh, We'll see how it goes. So the computer is on. Uh, nothing's on the screen at the moment. That's always a scary thing, but then then it pops back up and boom. Um, so one thing that will happen a lot of times when you do these BIOS updates, uh, sometimes it will screw up your um, boot priority. So you may have to actually go in there and uh, to actually do that. Now at this point, it looks like it is actually wanting us to go into the BIOS um, and screw around with it. So we will, uh, you know, go ahead and do that at this point, hitting the F but F1 button there on the keyboard, and we're in the BIOS. So um, we're going to go check the uh, the boot out. Now, if you bought this and you happen to just put um, 
one M2 drive in and you put it on the bottom side, you may not get this to boot to Windows. Um, and my other one is the one on the bottom is basically a storage drive. So uh, this Samsung drive, so it, it's good to go. So we're going to go ahead and uh, exit. And oh, let's, you know, before we do that, let's go to easy mode. Easy mode. Come on, easy mode. All right, maybe I have to hit F7 on the keyboard. There you go. Um, do, 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 do. So, made me a liar. It doesn't show you the BIOS uh, number in here. All right, we got to go back to advanced mode. Now, if we go back into tool, we will see what the BIOS is. Um, there you go. There's the new BIOS version 401. So it's good to go. I'm going to exit. I do not want to do this again. Not today. And now we're going to exit. We made no changes. Discard changes and exit. Okay. And it should bring up Windows. And if we see Windows, everything was good. So I hope you got something out of this video. If you did, please like, please subscribe. Uh, if you found me entertaining, you definitely want to subscribe. Uh, if you didn't find me entertaining, you definitely want to subscribe anyways for the technical advice you will get. And it looks like uh, it's rebooting again. So um, probably going to have to do some more troubleshooting here, folks. Okay, so I've got dual windows on here. Um, and it should bring up windows now. Boom, there it is. We're all done.